Oh, it's just Jorrid. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome your faces to another Bendy and the Ink Machine Theory video. With the release of the fourth chapter, I believe that I have uncovered a very interesting theory, or an idea from the game. And this could be explained most, if not all, the actions and reasons for the recent chapters. So before I get into this theory video, obviously I need to tell you that this video is going to contain a lot of spoilers from all of the chapters, including the newest edition, so if you want to go and play that, I'll pause the video now, and then you'll go and play your game, and then come back to the video. Okay, so I'll give you a second. Okay, you caught up? All good? Let's continue with the theory. Now, it's no question that there is something really odd going on with Benny and the Ink Machine, but everything seems fishy from the first step through the doors when Henry arrives at the studio. The thing I began to wonder straight away was why was Henry coming back? I mean, yes, I get that he was invited by Joey, but as an ex-employee, why would you want to? It seems that towards the end of the cycle of Joey's management and owner, his skills seem to dive. And the new chapter, we actually get to see Joey behind the recordings. And from what we can tell from listening in, Joey isn't the best of people. So why go back? So my theory is actually that Henry has been infected with ink already, or maybe even before Henry left, or possibly the moment he stepped through the doors. Now I know it does sound a little far-fetched, but let's take a look at some of the evidence that's provided in the newest chapter. Well, with my favorite in mind, I want to draw your attention to something that Alice Angel says in the third chapter. Do you know what it's like living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born from its inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, it made me an angel. So the things I take from that are, do you know what it's like living in dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like in a fishbowl. The first time I was born from its inky womb, I was wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. So from what Alice says, I wanted to point out that this could potentially back my theory. I wanted to take a look at these specific lines. It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices and bits of your mind swimming like in a fishbowl. Why do I want you to look at those specifically? Well, let's compare these to the death experience that happens when you get killed in the game. So as you can see from this, there are many things that actually match with the statements that Alice has mentioned beforehand. For instance, the screaming while of voices, have you noticed that when you walk back out of the inky womb, you will hear voices from each side and the motion of the ink swimming around the bowl. And if you can tell by the effects and the sound effects, it actually does sound like water thrashing around. And the actual effects of the tunnel actually looks like a bowl with spinning water inside, exactly like Alice has stated. Also, to add to this theory about the inky network of some sort, they must all be connected too. In the recent update that all the chapters had, I decided to go back and see what was changed, but something stood out to me. After Sammy catches you, he talks about the abyss, and I'll play the clip now. Lend to us, my little sheep. The time of sacrifice is at hand. And then I will finally be freed from this prison. This inky, dark abyss I call a body. Now, another thing to note is when you look up the definition of abyss, there seems to be a connection between what I was saying earlier and what Alice was, has been saying. For instance, if we take a look at the meaning of abyss, it reads as followed. A deep or seemingly bottomless chasm, a wide or profound difference between people, the regions of how conceived as a bottomless pit. And obviously looking into those definitions, it backs up our theory about the Inky network yet again. And now Henry might already be a part of this network. Another thing I wanted to point out were these humanoid figures that are covered in ink, which are called or referred to as the Lost Ones. 
It's clear that these are in the process of becoming part of the well of voices in a bowl, as Alison put it, but there is something different about the lost ones. In particular, in fact, one of the things I've seemed to notice is they are conscious, in some sense. They're aware of what's going on around them, and it's my belief that I believe these are the people that are leaving the messages behind. For instance, if we take the quote, the creators lied to us, I believe that the lost ones were told they would ascend into like a full ink demony monsters offering or whatever but to cut that short is they were promised something and then they were lied to by joey also to add to the claim that they are in some sort of state as henry sometimes their eyes can be seen glowing and it reminds me of the same scenario that we see when the tunnel the one where obviously when you die and you walk out of it towards the bright light what if the eye portal that we run into after we die in game is just another way to go back to the world from the inky world and the inky network. Now I know it's hard to believe, but it makes sense. And I believe because of the ink machine, they are all connected now somehow through this inky network. And this would even explain the visions that Henry's seen going down the corridor, where flashes from the ink network to the real world and he sees hands reaching out to him from all sides. For me, I think this is a visual representation of them being connected to Henry or is still becoming connected, and this is a sign of the inking process growing. This theory would even link back to the first episode very early on, where Henry experiences some flashbacks from the first moments of the game, which is the shared memory from the network. So with that being said, I would love to know what you guys and gals think, and let me know if you have your own theory about the game or anything related to Bendy and the Ink Machine, and pop a comment down below, and remember to hit that like button if you did enjoy this video, and please hit subscribe with notifications on to help the channel. If you want any more Bendy and the Ink Machine theories, let me know, and my playthrough of the chapter will be out very soon. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, and in conclusion to the theory, too long didn't read version, Henry is already infected, the ink network is a thing and everyone's a part of it. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this theory and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!